Now this all happened just after midnight near exit 52 here on I-95. Now luckily the trooper and the person he was helping were not hurt. The impaired driver was. He had some minor injuries and he is facing charges. A midnight call on I-95 for Trooper First Class Edward Leary. What's going on? The driver of this minivan pulled over near the breakdown lane on the right shoulder when suddenly All right, put it in new another car hits Trooper Leary's cruiser, sending it into the back of the minivan. He jumps over the barrier just in time to get to safety. Something like this, I think anyone is can be a, a little shaken up. Trooper First Class Pedro Munez says his co-worker's reaction to this scenario shows why they trained for this. One of the things that uh, they drill in us in the academy is to be aware of our surroundings. So uh, when we have, we're dealing with one situation here, something else can be ha happening over here. Despite the damage, neither Trooper Leary nor the driver of the minivan were injured. Police say the person who hit them, 32-year-old Thomas Larravee from East Lyme, was driving under the influence. He was charged for that and for following too closely, something that's preventable, Muniz says. Use a designated driver. Uh, don't drink and drive. Plus, it's a teachable moment about the move over law. Which states to either slow, slow down and or move over when you see a, an emergency vehicle on the roadside or in the roadway. The accident report says Trooper Leary did have his emergency lights on. A close call that nobody wants to face. A vehicle car that was in the right lane. No matter where you're getting to, it's not important than your life or the life of somebody else. Now, Lara V was released on a $500 bond and is expected to appear in court next month. In the meantime, state police are launching a campaign along with others this weekend. It's called Drive to Save Lives. They will be patrolling right here on 95 from here all the way to Florida, looking out for people who are driving while distracted, speeding, and even people who might be under the influence all in an effort just to keep our roads safe. We're along 95 here in Brantford. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.